Well, that's on the ice, but there are plenty of happenings around town to prepare for Game 5 tomorrow. Bars, restaurants, the city, police. Denver 7's Megan Lopez is live on the preps for the potential cup-clinching game. Yeah, Jason, there is a lot of excitement about will tomorrow be the day that the Avalanche maybe possibly clinch the Stanley Cup for the first time in 21 years. Now, they don't want to jinx it, but both the city and businesses are preparing just in case tomorrow night is that night. We're just getting ready for tomorrow. Call it the calm before the storm. Denver knows how to party and we're going to get crazy. Or maybe more appropriately, the calm before the avalanche at Nola Jane. The first two home games were incredible. I mean, busy, busy, busy. Owner and executive director Mike Goldman is ready for anything. We beefed up like crazy. I mean, I brought in a full kitchen staff three or four days just to prep so much food because we're going to go through it. That's been a bit of a challenge. They can't find chicken tenders anywhere, so they're making them from scratch. Little things in my kitchen, uh, things like the fish we use all the time, smaller items, certain spices we can't get. But they're working around it, getting creative and getting excited for game five. The city of Denver is also busy prepping. We're learning so much after each watch party at Ball Arena and in Auraria, at Auraria campus. The Avs game is not the only event this weekend, though. Parts of Van Ock Street, 14th Avenue, Broadway and Colfax will all be closed starting Friday for the Pride Parade. The city itself is very experienced in balancing many different types of events and activities. Over at Denver Police. We remind folks uh, not only to celebrate responsibly, but to celebrate in a lawful manner. They're finalizing safety plans and asking for the public to help out. We could do it safely. We can stay out of the penalty box. They are staffing up, but these days that's a challenge. But uh, this is where leaning on the partners, uh, figuring out different staffing plans in order to maximize and ensure that we have enough coverage. Still, they say they're ready for whatever game five brings. So you heard about some of those road closures. Denver City officials say it's going to be very difficult to drive around downtown before, during, even after the game. So if you don't have to be down here, you really shouldn't. And they're also encouraging a lot of people to maybe take mass transit, use a bike, use some of those scooters you see around town, because again, it's going to be crazy trying to drive down here. They're also asking people to please bring and drink a lot of water because it's going to be hot tomorrow. Jacqueline. All right. Thank you, Megan.